In this video I'm going to describe about putting the wiring in for this GPS uh, speedo. It was really really easy but I couldn't really get in with the camera so it's a bit of a mishmash of things but at the end of the video I'll tell you a few little things I found out. Right, this is the next day. I'm glad I quit yesterday because it poured down. So, what have I got? What am I doing today? Well, I'm going to do the wiring on this speedometer. I just want you to note something because I don't know if it's like this with all of them, but it's got this little plastic clip that goes on the back of here to lock that tight. But you must get the wires in the exact same order. Don't twist them because there's not enough space in there, and you can see the wires are kind of long. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but I'll mention it just again until we get it right. <laughs> the wires have got little tags on them with what they're corresponding to do, like the black one's ground and what's that white one there? Uh, external button, which is here. That's for the reset. So, I'm going to get on and do that today. Uh, what have I got here? I've got just some basic tools. I'm going to do everything with the uh, heat shrink, make it nice and tidy, uh, and then we get on. We can use, we can pick up off the dash here. Like this would be the dash light. You take one of the wires off the dash light. So there's your night lights. You can be any colour you want. We'll see that in a minute. We're also on the opposite side, we can take the ground off, because we've got a ground. <coughs> now, because these were LEDs, I just want to make sure they are the right way around, so that's one of the things I've got to do first. So, what I'm going to do is just wire, wire everything up, as per the book, and we'll get on. Now, so there you go, about half an hour to install, not too long, just sorting a few wires out. Um, let's turn the ignition on. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Well, it, it goes up for kilometres for some strange reason, and then it goes to zero. Um, so, we've got the ignition on. We've got a turn signal on there that's nice and bright. We've got that one down there as well. Turn signal. And if I put the lights onto there, you, I put it onto the orange colour, which isn't too bad. They didn't have anything. Well, they had red or orange, and I thought, well, that'll do. Um, high beam, there, nice clear high beam light, look at that, so I'm going to take it for a drive. So how does it work? It works superb! Look at that, no needle bounce, nothing, just for a minute, it's not an automatic. There we go, <laughs> there we go, that. yeah it looks great doesn't it? I'm really impressed, really really impressed. I wish I got one years ago. Now, I have got the lights on it because uh, there's a bit, sh bit of the shade down here. Oh, wait a minute. There's some shade here. Wait a minute. There's a shade of it. There you go. See. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Spectacular. I know they're not really all super in line, but all the gauges work. Well. It doesn't really matter. Right. Signing off before I ever crash. Right, so having fitted it, this uh, GPS speedometer, what do I think of it? I think it's great! Now, the other alternative was like a VDO or a, a TD5 one, which was like $800, and even a standard one with the cable on was $400. So, it's $89 plus tax, it's kind of reasonable and it's a good value. And it was worth the mess about playing around with the plastic ring. I've actually found a better way of doing it now, so stay tuned if we ever have to do another one. Um, they're supposed to be waterproof and dustproof. I wouldn't say waterproof is go down with the Titanic looking at them, but I think they're good enough for marine use. You know, they put them in boats and things like this, because you can get them in knots as well. Not, you know, not tiny knots, but you know when they're funny about in boats. Anyway, so that's good. Now another thing I found out later after I'd fitted this and I did the first video, you can actually set the odometer to the mileage that was on your car before. 
in your old odometer. So you can put it anywhere you want. And it is supposed to have an annoying feature like a buzzer, an overspeed buzzer. So say for example you go over 50 kilometers an hour, it'll start buzzing. But to get 50 kilometers an hour out of one of these things, well that's pushing it. You go deaf anyway. Um, fitting instructions. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now I did read some comments on Amazon about people saying, oh the wiring comes out. I think they forget to put this, the retaining clip in, which I mentioned about earlier. I, I can't see a problem with it. And it's very light as well, so it's not got that heavy mass uh, trying to break your <laughs> break your binnacle, you know, where your instrument cluster is. It's, it's light enough to go into there. No, I like it. I wish I'd seen one years ago, but uh, there's, there's like so many variations on them. And yes, they all go to 200 kilometers an hour. I think Jeff said he saw one that went to 120. I'm not really sure, but pff, what difference does it make? Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, pleased as punch with that. And I've also got the, uh, uh, the old speedometer on my test bench, working away as I chat to you. So let's have a, get this video up and get this out of the way. I'm very pleased, like I say, I'm very pleased with my purchase. I thought it was a good value and it was a good experiment. Bit of messing about to make it fit, but after that, now we know the trick. Great. All right, I hope you have a nice afternoon. It's lovely, 29, 30 degrees here today and very humid. So uh, and make, make the most of it while you can. See you later. Mm -hmm.